Hi everyone, Trout Flies here. I'm on the middle Provo today. It's fall, all the colors on the trees are out in forest and I'm excited. This is one of my favorite times of year to fly fish. Blue winged olives, thrown streamers. Rivers should be a little less busy, but there are a few cars in the lot. Not sure if they're walkers or fishermen, but We'll bounce around here and see what we can move. So the theme of today's video is gonna be how well can you Euronymph on a nine foot five weight? My normal Euro rod is an Orvis Clearwater 10 foot three weight, but a few trips ago, I managed to snap the tip off. So that rod's up to Orvis. Hopefully I can get a replacement for it, but I've, Enlisted one of my backup rods today to do some urinifying. It's a Reddington Classic Trout, nine foot five weight. It's a medium action rod, so it might protect the small tippet better than my Reddington Vice would. So that gives me a little bit of an advantage over a normal nine foot five weight. That would typically be like a faster action but I'll kind of go over on what the drawbacks are of using a rig like this and where I would miss my normal urinimping rod. So hopefully I can cover some of that stuff today. I've also got a streamer tied on because it sounds fun. So let's see what we can do here. So I don't want to spend a lot of time here, but I'm going to throw a streamer through this run. See if we can move a fish. So let's just get in here. So I like to fish my streamers downstream and swing them across. So I'm gonna start kind of high up in this run and then work my way down. This is a bit of an awkward cast right here. So let's see if we can. So I typically throw it out and then Throw a little bit of a mend in to get it down and just strip. You want to vary your retrieve, figure out whether the fish are in a fast retrieve mode or like short, long strokes, shorts, quick short strokes. Just kind of figure out what type of mood they're in. Once you make your cast, take a step down. And swing it. You can also take a step out, take a step in, just kind of vary the water you're fishing. So let it get tight on the swing and then strip it through. Take another step down, you know. Try not to eat it as you take that step. I've got a Sculptzilla and Olive tied on. It's probably my favorite streamer. I tie it on a single hook, it's not articulated or anything. It's a nice small little sculpin or bait fish pattern. I like the smaller size streamers. It's got barbell eyes, so it sinks pretty good. All right, this is another spot where I'm gonna be going across pretty swift current to get to this far bank soft seam. See if we can manage to reach across it here.
Just saw a fish come up in front of me. I kind of wanted to do the streamer thing today. I've seen a couple of heads already, which is maybe telling me I'm not doing the right thing. There we go. Feels like a better fish too. We're going to get him on the reel. And walk him over to me. It's a pretty decent trout. Uh, half decent. That might have been the fish I saw come up. Well, turns out, guys, you can catch fish on a nine foot five weight with a Euro rig. Just gotta get a little aggressive with your waiting. All right, took the Duracell. So it's probably like a, it's in a tractor pattern, but it kind of matches some of the October caddis we have out here. But that's a decent little fish to start the day. Pretty. I did not feel that take. I just saw the cider jump. There, oh, dang, right on the swing. Bummer. Not the best hook set. There we go. Oh, that's a big fish. It's a big fish, guys, on the streamer. Look at that one. Not much of a fight out of him. Oh, streamer just popped out. Look at that, guys. That is a big fish. That's a 20 inch fish right there. Yep, 10 to 10. What a beautiful fish. Look at that. It's 
this might be a two-hander. Look at that fish, guys. What a really pretty fish. Let's get him in the water. That's why you throw streamers. There we go. That's a better fish too. Need to get this fish under control. There we go, side pressure. He's pretty hot, gotta let him play himself out. Trying to keep him above me here though. Not sure if it's a whitey or a brown. Let's see, haven't seen him yet. Oh, don't do that. Looks like whitey. Not certain. If it's a brown, it's a giant. If it's a whitey, it's pretty big. Yeah, it's a whitey. Oh, and now he's running on me. I have to move down and get below him. Or get him over into this. Oh. This is not where I want to be fighting him. Oh, and we almost hit it. Maybe I can get him above me here. Come on. I don't quite got him in the mouth, doesn't look like. Oh, there's a white fish for you guys. Maybe I don't need to net him. Just gonna let me pick you up. Okay. There we go.
I wasn't sure on his size, so I got him on the reel. Took the my buy it bar merger. Right in the roof. Little guy. There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, popped off. Pretty sure that was on the caddis. Don't know what that was. Oh, wasn't a good knot. That might have been a fish. Ooh. Just missed one. From the streamer. I was watching the streamer and I saw it come up and take it. Ooh. That was a grab. Oh. Man. Can't get a good hook set. Well, I'm gonna head back to the car and that'll do it for our day on the middle. You know, I ended up throwing a streamer most of the day. I caught that one real nice one and man, I must have had a dozen short strikes and I just could not get them to commit. It's pretty frustrating, but Sometimes you got to expect that when you're throwing a streamer. I nymphed around a little bit. Like I mentioned earlier, my dedicated Euro nymph rod is getting replaced because I broke the tip off of it somehow. And so I brought my soft, soft action, medium action, nine foot five weight out. And you know, it was serviceable. I, I got by. I definitely found myself in some scenarios where I missed my dedicated Euro rod. But we still managed to catch a few when we did nymph. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing to this channel. Hope you all stay safe out there.